Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lily. If you're new here, welcome and thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Frankie Kid Beyond the Physical. We are back with our girl Frankie. She is up on this Tuesday morning cooking up some berry Belgian waffles for her and Nyla, thanks to Granny's cookbook. It's her last day of class. We no longer have a college student, guys. I'm so eager to see if she graduates as an A student or not. I know we had that one messed up term due to the MC Command Center mod, but it's all good. We know Frankie did her thing. So in the last episode, we saw that Brian and Poppy had a little romance bar, and you guys left me some great feedback. I appreciate you guys so much, so thank you for that. Frankie is talking to Nyla about what she thought she saw happen at dinner. Nyla's taken aback and calls it as she saw it. She tells Frankie that yeah, everyone was there with their significant others, feeling the romantic vibe, but she definitely didn't see anything go down between Brian and Poppy. She also advises Frankie to just speak with Brian to ease her mind. So that's what Frankie's going to do. She's going to see if Brian can meet her at the beach so they can talk and she can rid herself of that aching feeling in her stomach. Ladies, we've all been there. And that feeling is the worst. So to calm her nerves, I'm going to have Frankie do a mind concentrating routine. I'm with Nyla and like many of you suggested in the comments, that nothing is going on between Poppy and Brian. But Frankie should definitely speak to Brian about it. And in Poppy's defense, Frankie is like a sister to her and she would never hurt one Frankie and two her brother. Plus Brian is a good dude. I personally feel that Frankie really has nothing to worry about. But I'm going to let Frankie finish up with her yoga routine so she can get ready to meet Brian. So here we are with Brian and Frankie at the beach. And look at these two. They're just kissing up on each other and joking around. They are really feeling each other. Their actions are speaking louder than words. There ain't nothing going on but the back rent when it comes to these two. Brian is eager to know what's going on. So Frankie cuts to the chase because she hates leaving him hanging and she just needs to get to the bottom of things. So Frankie lets Brian know that she was feeling insecure at dinner the other night and swore she caught him flirting with Poppy. So Brian is shook. He's shocked about this. He lets Frankie know that he has eyes only for her and loves her. So Frankie believes him and that's part of the reason why she wanted him to come down and not do this over the phone because she wanted to see his facial expression, his body language and so forth. So she's putting this situation to rest as she should. And I don't know if Frankie is swooning over Brian or is about to pass out from the heat. So let's get her into her hot weather wear. They're going to spend the rest of the afternoon here before Brian heads back home. So we are back home and I hopped into Cass because I want to take her before and afters. So of course this is her after pictures. And what we're going to do, I'm going to slide the bar. Um, muscles were like this and she was all the way up like that. So I'm going to screenshot this and that and that and now I'm just going to undo this and this is what she is now and we're going to take our front shot, our side shot and our back shot. She looks so good, so amazing. And now I'm thinking, should we get rid of Clumsy and bring in another trait? My girl Key Red, she introduced me to this all rounder trait. I wanna use this because it says these Sims love swimming, yoga, and going to the gym. They also learn fitness and wellness skills faster than other Sims. I think this is way up her alley and 
I think it's fitting for Frankie. Actually, I didn't want to put it there. I wanted to put it here. So let's put that back. So I'm giving her back her selfish short. And let me know about the foodie trait. These sims become happy and have fun when eating good food, become uncomfortable when eating bad food, and can watch cooking shows for ideas. So I like that still for her because just because you lose weight in your fitness, you're healthy, it doesn't mean that you stop loving food. There are a lot of people that still enjoy food while on their journey. So I'm gonna let you guys decide, should we keep this here for her or should we change it up? And also while we're in here, I just wanna change up her hot wear. Like this makeup, I don't like this eye stuff. And let's take off that necklace. All right, and let's just give her one more outfit. Yeah, I think this is better. Let's take off these bracelets. Just wanted to give her a quick little outfit. So she has another one besides being in that same one. So final grades are in. Of course, our star student, Nyla, has an A+, and she passed with the GPA of an A-. minus. Drumroll, guys. Frankie. Yes! I still don't understand why her GPA is a B+. All these A-pluses should have balanced out to become at least an A. But we are going to take it. We are excited about this grade. So we're going to accept that. And she checked off another thing off of her aspiration. And it says graduation is tomorrow. It's been quite a journey. Nyla's graduation ceremony from Foxbury Institute is tomorrow. Time to celebrate. And Frankie has the same one. So that's good. Let's get Frankie something to eat. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to worry about what she eats and, you know, be so strict because she is, oh my goodness, look at all they have in here. <laughs> what is um, Nyla making? Oh, Nyla made bread. Maybe she'll have a slice of this. A call to meal. Have some. <gasps> guys, did you see that? <gasps> Wait a minute. Do you see this? Nyla is pregnant. Yeah. Well, all I'm saying is I'm happy that it's after college. She's graduating so she could go off and start her own life. And I think we're gonna put her in a nice little house or apartment. Depending on where Frankie is, I want her to be in the same neighborhood. That way they could continuously, um, you know, show up at each other's door and so forth. Wow. I know Chase and her were spending some quality time together, but I had no idea it was this type of quality, if you know what I mean. She's gonna have to let Chase know because he's gonna wanna know. But um, Let me get her into bed because a nap is not gonna help her right now. It's only seven o'clock. So guys, I will catch back up with you when it's graduation. So guys, I just checked back in. I had Nyla invite Chase over so he can, so she can share the news with him. And I'm telling you, as soon as he came in, she didn't even get to say hello. He already bust a kiss on her. So I said, let me just jump back in here. I want her to share the news with him. Here it is. Let's share the big news. Oh, and Poppy decided to drop by also. So I invited her in so she could chill with Frankie when Frankie wakes up. Did she say it yet? All right, here it goes. Uh oh. Look at him. He really is into her. Aww. You know, so I think everything is going to work out for them. Look at that. Why is he thinking about Poppy? So I'm having Nyla ask Poppy or talk of Brian to see how she feels about Brian. And let's see what she says. Poppy may be Frankie's bestie, but Nyla is her ride or die. She is not playing around. I like Brian. He's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. 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 We shared a big news with her. And let's ask about Chase. Because she seems to be all 
on Chase. Let's see how Poppy feels about Chase. I was like, he's good peeps. Uh, same thing. I like Chase. He's pretty cool. And let's just ask one more time. Let's see how she feels about Corey. Are things on the rocks with her and Corey? So let's see. Poppy's like, why are you grilling me? What's with the thousand questions? So, how do you? How are you and Corey going? I'm so in love with Corey. All right. So Poppy is cool. She's off the hook. She wasn't messing around with Brian. Oh, look at him. He's just giving her a massage. I think Poppy left. Look at them just playing around. So cute. They're really cute. I like these two together. So I'm going to send Nyla to bed and I'm going to send Chase home because our girl is tired. Now we'll see you at graduation for real, for real this time. So as you can see, we are clearly not at graduation. I forgot to hit record and missed all the footage of Frankie and the gang celebrating her and Nyla. So we are here at the after after party and something special went down. Yep, that's right. Brian has proposed to Frankie. And she said yes, guys. I'm so upset that you didn't get to see our girl get proposed to. So I'll insert some pictures of what was missed. So it's the next day and I decided to throw the girls a keg party. This is something Frankie has been wanting to do since forever, but has yet to ever do it. And they're finishing up college, so I said, why not? So let's get Frankie over here to um, do a keg stand, of course, with her fiance. I hate that everyone is in the house. Them. They just became best friends. So sweet. Maybe Frankie could call everyone to eat. Yep, that surely worked. Everyone is coming outside to eat. That's what I'm talking about. Now, have a seat. Don't you love this? is going to try to tap the K. Let's see, it doesn't work. Oh no, Frankie! She's like, uh, Corey, can you come over here and do this for me, please? Let's try it again, come on. Yes, you did it! Successfully! Awesome job. Now let's do a cake stand with... Brian. Look at Brian doing the cake stand with Jan Jay. <laughs> and you can hardly see because everyone's in the way. Go ahead. All right, so we just have to have thank the guests for coming. So let's thank, um, let's thank everyone for coming. Say, yo, thanks for coming and seeing me off from college. Aw, oh, look, Brian has a sentiment. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted you to, I just wanted to let you know that. That's so awesome. Let's slide with um, Frankie, Hazel, Corey. Where's our girl Poppy? I don't think Poppy came. All right, guys, look at Brian. Yes. And look at Corey! <laughs> Come on, Hazel! Yeah! Oh yeah, Brian! Oh yeah, Frankie! Oh no! <laughs> she busted her tail! I love her hair! She looks so fabulous! Alright, girl! Oh no, Hazel! 
That's fun. Look at Ryan and Corey. You can tell they all work out. I love this, how everyone is together. Take a picture with your sister. Hold on, take a picture real quick with Hazel. Look at <laughs> Frankie, get up! <laughs> you see, if you listen to what I told you to do, you wouldn't even bust your butt. This is so cute, I love it. I love these two. And Frankie cannot wait to spend the summer with her sister. <laughs> Hazel is always frightening her. Come on, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> I thought. Brian will pick Frankie up, but Frankie's picking Brian up. That's so cute. Oh, so sweet. Let's take that pic. So all the Chads and Kyles of the world wept. It was truly a cake party of legend. You have been bestowed a most excellent golden cake. That's what's up. So they had a great time. Well, this was a fun-filled event. Frankie graduated. She got proposed to, and she just had a gold keg event. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop some love in the comment sections below. I love hearing from you guys. Take care of yourself and others around you, and I will be seeing you in another video soon. Bye, guys. You don't think I'm good enough You're just gonna feed the fire Even if I'm fine Cause I do it like that Little no fat I'm on your break in my back Even when they crush my soul Even when I crush in myself I gotta keep going This staff panic attack This guy won't track Every time I react Now the people wouldn't fight back But that's not me so I don't